Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I feel like I've been a bit MIA um, the past few weeks. It's been a really big couple of weeks for myself and Giselle. Um, so as some of you may already know, we had our gastroscopy, so we had to travel to Townsville to do that. Um, everything went really well. Um, it was the first time that I have ever been under anesthetic. Um, so that was really great. Um, I had a couple of more chats with the sleep doctor prior to going to Townsville and the sleep doctor basically told me that they were going to take my driver's license off me and that I couldn't have the surgery until I did my CPAP study which isn't possible be to do anytime soon because they have no slots available to get me in so I was really upset about that and I kind of just shut down for a little bit um, because when you're really looking forward to something, you know, and then it kind of just gets taken away from you, you kind of get a bit upset about it. I really did. I really took it to heart. Um, and I was really worried that that was the case. Now, let me just rewind a bit, sorry. So first of all, the reason why the sleep doctor keeps telling me that they want to take my license off me and stuff is because okay so I have got quite severe sleep apnea yes um, but they seem to think it's to the point where I am going to have a car accident and fall asleep at the wheel now I so I got a letter from my doctor I, I asked my doctor if I could have a copy of my sleep study stuff um, and he said yep yeah, no worries so he printed out the stuff for me in that stuff that he printed was a letter I'm not 100% sure if my doctor had actually read that letter um, because I feel like if he had he maybe wouldn't have given it to me um, but so this was a letter from the sleep doctor in Brisbane who I had the Skype appointment with um, to my doctor I'm pretty sure um, and in this letter, it stated that um, that I'm in denial that I have had a car accident due to being tired or falling asleep at the wheel. So where she's getting this from is because she asked me if I have had any car accidents. And I said, yes, I have had a couple of car accidents. None of them were my fault. Not one of them were my fault. Not one of them I had to pay for. My insurance covered it all and the person who hit me every time were the ones who had to pay for it because it was proven that it wasn't my fault. I've been hit, I've been ran into quite a few times um, and like I said, not once, not once were they my fault. So the sleep doctor was basically saying that I'm denying that they weren't my fault but I feel like she really thinks that they were um, which I've got proof that they weren't my fault so you know I just I feel like they think that my sleep my sleep apnea is worse than what I feel like it really is I don't go to work and fall asleep at the desk I don't I work I work with money I work in a bank, I work with money. I can't afford to do that. Like I've expressed to you guys in the past, I feel like it was an inaccurate sleep study done in the first place because not even half the stuff that I was meant to have, like what Giselle had, I didn't I didn't have half of that stuff that she had. Um, and then half of it got ripped off halfway through the night because it wasn't on properly and it fell off and I just could, got sick of trying to re-put it back on so I just pulled it off um I just it annoys me because the way that they say it to me is rude and 
having my driver's license taken off me, especially in the town that I live in at the moment, um, <laughs> there's no public transport, transport here. The only other type of transport is taxi. Yes, it is a smaller town and I probably could walk, but that means walking in excess of 40 degrees Celsius heat. Now, for those of you who are in America, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's hot. It is stinking hot. And I'm sorry, but I just, I don't, I don't handle heat very well at the best of times. So I just, it's just not realistic. Um, and catching taxis is way too expensive. So it means a lot them saying that they want to take my license off me um, because I'm quite heavily reliant on having it. So um, in saying that, yeah, okay, yes, I know I can just go and get a sleep study and you get that all fixed. But the, but the biggest thing is, like, I will. I will go and do a sleep study if they really want me to do one. But part of this, having this surgery is that it will help with all of that which is what I didn't understand and why I was like, okay, so why are you telling me that I can't have the surgery then until I get this sorted? So I kind of just left it at that and I'm like, I'm just going to see what the surgeon says. Um, and so when we got to Townsville, um, we had our gastroscopy first and then we had to go up and see Dr. Uh, Baker, our surgeon. He's a lovely guy. First time I've ever met him. He is such a lovely guy. Um, and he, of course, brought up the sleep apnea thing. He said, oh, okay, so I see you both, because me and Giselle both went in for the appointment. He said, I, I can see you both have quite severe sleep apnea. And I'm like, oh, yes. My heart just started bumping. I'm like, shoot, what's he going to say? Um, he's like, okay. He said, that's fine. He said, that's that's good. He said, this is definitely going to help with that. He said, this surgery is definitely going to help with that. Um, he said, it just means that you'll be in the ICU for one night. That's that's it. I'm like, oh, my God. So what is all this talk then from the sleep doctor? You know, I don't understand. I don't get why, why he's making me feel so bad about this. <sighs> I almost feel bullied. So I am going to say something about it to my husband thinks I should maybe see if there's like a medical ombudsman. Um, but I'm just going to wait until after the surgery um, because I don't want to have to stress about that um, right now when I really need to just focus on on the surgery and then getting better so after that I am definitely going to see if I can take this a bit further because it's not fair um, and it's got to a point where so Giselle she's pretty bad actually she, she's worse than me her sleep at me is it's bad um, I had to sleep next to her in Townsville and I honestly I got not one wink of sleep because I was sitting there the whole time making sure she was still breathing she'd just stop for over a minute and then really gag bad for air so hers is really bad um, and she doesn't even want to take that first step to see a sleep doctor now after she has overheard the conversation that I had with my sleep doctor she, you know she was in the background when I was in a Skype call um, and she's like I, I just don't want to see them they're mean they were mean to you and she's like and they'll be mean to me too I know my my study test came back worse than yours so how professional is that when you your patients don't even want to see you because of how you make them feel and the way that you talk to them I if I had have known I wouldn't have either um, because it's just, it's not called for, it's, 
Hmm. Anyway, that's that's as far as I'm going to go into that because it stresses me every time. It, it just annoys me. It makes me so angry. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. Um, and like I said, things back there for a while got a little bit... Wasn't so sure what was going on and wasn't sure about the surgery. But the good news is, obviously, I spoke to my doctor. Everything is all good. We're definitely booked in for the 9th of November, which is a Monday. Um, and so that's exactly from today. That's two weeks away. So today is Monday the 26th of October. Um, so it's exactly two weeks, two weeks away from today. Um, my super was paid into my bank account within days of um, me submitting that form from pay, uh, human Department of Human Resources. So obviously that was all approved, which is great news. Um, then I had to submit it to my super company and my super fund released the money into my account, which was almost the next day after I sent it through. But um, keeping in mind, I do work for the bank and my super is through the bank that I work at. So it was nice and quick. Um, yeah. So I've paid the surgeon. <laughs> That's all paid up now. Um, of what I had to pay, my health insurance covers the rest for me. The only thing that my health insurance wasn't wouldn't cover is the surgeon fee um, and the anesthesiologist fee for the actual surgery um, but it fully covers the hospital so you have to pay you know for however many nights you're in hospital plus then you also have to pay for however many nights you're in ICU and ICU can be quite expensive um, and this surgery is only done at private hospitals so um, private hospitals if especially if you're not covered are a lot more expensive than public hospitals, public hospitals, in fact, I don't even think you have to pay to stay there. So, um, it is done at a private hospital, but if you have private health, which I do, you're, you're covered for that if you've got top, you have to, I had to have top hospital, top extras to be covered for weight loss surgery, um, because it wouldn't, wasn't covered under basic, basic medium so you had to have top um yes yeah, so I'm all covered for that so surgeons paid now um, and I've got the money sitting there to pay the anesthesiologist which I'm gonna do tomorrow so yeah oh, oh gosh it's getting a bit late at night and I did want to hop on here I'm not gonna be able to edit this tonight I'm so tired I don't know if you can see these bags under my eyes I went decided to go camping with friends over the weekend we had a fishing comp um, out here at Lake Mandara and um, you it's the only time in the year that you can actually camp out at the lake so we decided that we would camp out there um, and I had not such a great sleep at all I really had didn't sleep very well at all and then so that night, really, maybe I only got one hour of good sleep. Sorry. And then last night, in bed, I was feeling sick all night. And I kept hopping up. And I just could not sleep last night either. So uh, today, I was like, oh, so tired. So I need to go to bed um, as soon as I finish recording this. And get some much-needed Zeds in. Um, I, I have, I am, I haven't yet, but I am going to be starting a new channel and I'm going to try and sort of sort out my videos a bit more because, you know, on this channel, I feel like it's a little bit all over the place. So I've got my weight loss stuff and then I've got handbag reviews and all that sort of thing. So I'm thinking about moving my handbag reviews to a different channel just to separate things. So once I've done that, if you guys are interested in those sort of videos as well, um, I'll let you know what the name of my new channel is. 
Um, it is going to re require a little bit of mucking around on my part, um, which I will do probably, I'll start tomorrow night. So I'm going to um, hopefully get that, uh, that up and running shortly um, just to tidy things up a bit and so people don't get confused. Um, and this channel that we're on at the moment will be purely about my, you know, weight loss and um, my li like a lifestyle channel, I guess, like lifestyle stuff. So, yeah, I might check back in again soon, guys, um, just to give you a really like proper update on on absolutely everything, weights um, and all that sort of thing. Um, I don't really have time tonight look the time's like ticking over already as it is so I will come back to you guys shortly with all of that and hopefully I'm back now um, after receiving all the great news and having paid my surgeon which is such good news um, yeah and I'm also going to chuck a couple of I did take a couple of videos while I was in Townsville really short ones because uh, vlogging I'm trying to make it my thing but it's kind of awkward like people look at you funny so you kind of like when you're in public you, you're like oh yeah you, you've got all every intention to stand there and chat with your camera and then you might do it for two seconds and be like okay bye <laughs> so I did sort of try and start that while I was in Townsville um, I had an amazing time in Townsville. It was a much needed break away from Mount Isa as well. Um, we had amazing accommodation. We had a luxury hire car. Um, and it was just quite nice to be spoiled like that for a little bit. So I uh, didn't want to come home. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I hope you have a great night or day, wherever you may be. And... Um, stay tuned and please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed like this video and give me a thumbs up and yeah I will chat with you guys next time peace see you later <laughs>